How you doing guys? Hi. We're here at Disneyland yes. today. Guys, it's almost summer. It's starting to get a little warm. It's not really that hot yet. <laughs> it's cause... a nice, delicious 74 degrees yeah. outside in California. Now I'm wearing my sweater today. I know it looks a little <laughs> crazy, but it ain't that hot yet. I just want to say, guys, we're going to have a great time today. There's yes. lots of foods, foods for the summer that you guys can check out for Ooh. yourself. Because as the heat gets hotter, you know, you, you want, want something. Fresh. Yep, something refreshing, <laughs> something good. But we're going to have a great time today. So why don't you guys join us today on this wonderful world of food. Here we go. Here comes the train into the station. There it is. <laughs> Look at that, guys. It's a gorgeous day here at Disneyland yes, today. It is. Oh, man. We're going to find <laughs> some new foods, huh? I know. I'm so hungry, so... Let's get this started. Hi. I haven't seen a more gorgeous day than today here at Disneyland. It's so lovely. The sky is blue. Everyone's cheerful today. Yeah. It's awesome. We're going to have a great time today, guys. We can't wait to take you to the Red Rose Tavern first because they have our first food I'm yes. going to show you. So get your tummies ready and so let's head on over. Let's do it. Now, if you guys do like these videos and you do love watching videos about Disneyland foods, Please leave us a like. It really helps out our channel. Don't forget to leave a comment letting us know what you think of these adventures. But we're going to have a great time today. Like I said, first we're going to get over to the Red Rose Tavern and try our first food that they have right now for the summer. Let's go. Oh, man. So... <laughs> Every time you get into Fantasyland, it gets a little congested, and it's only because Fantasyland is probably the most popular spot in Disneyland. Now, if you guys love Disneyland, what land is your favorite? It's one of my favorite rides here. It's a carousel. <laughs> it is a Disney guest favorite. It's so lovely. <laughs> and now we're walking into the Red Rose Tower. Watch that footwork. It's my happy dance. Prepared. We're getting close. Close. Not there yet, Not but there we're yet. about to get that tasty treat. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so windy today, huh? <laughs> it's a little windy. <laughs> so at the Red Rose Tavern, you guys, see, there's a summer stuff. They have the summer stuff, which is look at that. It's like you have the sun in your hands, huh? Because the yellow shortbread cookie on the bottom. <laughs> yeah. So it's just a red velvet cake with some pastel sprinkles. You also have some cute little butterfly sprinkles. Look. I gotta and see that. I gotta see that. What? Hold on. Butterfly sprinkles. There's more on this side. <laughs> I see it. <laughs> I think you just dig in. Got myself a fork. Mm. Let's see that. I feel like it's like any regular gray stuff. Oh, it's got the red velvet inside. <laughs> okay. Wow, they always come out with the best gray stuff, huh? They sure do. Whether it's Valentine's Day or special night or Halloween, whatever it might be. They always come kind of through with the gray stuff. Now this one is just a red velvet cake, which is really nice. I love the raspberry, the gray stuff, the shortbread itself. Let's try some of that shortbread, which I'm pretty sure is just food coloring, but let's see. Just a regular shortbread, but it's fun for the summer. Yum. There they go on the canoe. Such a gorgeous day to do this. There they go. I bet you their arms are really tired. Uh, mine would be. <laughs> My arms would be extremely tired from oh, doing that. Be, after the ride, you'd be like all booked up from the arms like that. <laughs> like yeah. Ricky Ralph. <laughs> like the big <laughs> arms. Now, if you guys have been to Disneyland for a bit, you've noticed that Blue Bayou has been closed for a while. They actually had some walls up. Now it's back open, so you can go back inside, you can get in, enjoy your food. Right now, they're only doing walk ups, though, no reservations and the walls are still up inside. So I don't think we're gonna go in yet until they finally bring down those walls because it kind of takes away from the dining experience, but it's back. So if you want to dine, just be here and walk in or ask first because I, they might have everyone already in there. Walk in. <laughs> <laughs> I know, you probably want to ask first, but uh, yeah, it's open. Look right over there, that's that new bar. You have to check this place out since it's, since they're reopened, but that's the bar over there. Hopefully one day we can come in and have something to eat. Enjoy it in here when the walls are down. And that way you can see Pirates of the Caribbean. You can see the water. You can see people passing by in their boats. <laughs> it's pretty, huh? It is very pretty. <laughs> All right, so here at the Harbor Galley, yes. they should have another tasty treat here for the summer. They actually have three. They have a salad, a sandwich, and a pelican punch, which is like bright blue punch. 
it just looks really delicious in pictures when we mobile ordered it so i'm excited they got three they got three things. oh my gosh <laughs> all right you guys so here i have the pelican punch it has coconut it has pineapple it has lime it looks delicious i love the color almost like little sugar crystals on top so pretty it's like the ocean <laughs> i wish you could see it but it's a bright day today so you're probably not going to see those little crystals on top <laughs> it looks Trust cute me, there's little crystals on top <laughs> <laughs> Good? It's better than good. What? It's that really means it's, it's half for me and half for you, right? <laughs> I think you might just have to get your own. Like, <laughs> I normally I'm like, oh, this is it. But I'm like, okay, so I really like the peach slush over Harbor. Harbor. I really like the peach slush over by Hungry Bear. But I think this one's beating it. It Ooh. has like that citrus, almost like takes you back to my childhood of like that delicious blue icy, but it's not that icy flavor, that blue raspberry. I have hints of lime, pineapple, and coconut. Very tropical. And the top, I'm not sure what the top is, but it's almost like that foam. It's delicious. You want to try it? Sure. Trust me. You need to try this. Right, let's try this out. Mmm. Tastes like a pina colada. <laughs> Without the, the colada? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty good, guys. I do like this. It's very good. Uh, let's see if the journey's approved. Check it out. So also at Harbor Valley, they have the mofalada salad. It has pepperoncini, it has olive tapenade, cheese and meats. They have sourdough bread and Italian dressing on the side. So yeah, fat-free Italian dressing. I know, fat-free. I don't like. I don't really. I mean, the calories count in Disney. <laughs> I mean, I don't count Probably them. Probably not. <laughs> Can I spread a little bit? Not too much. Just enough. I have a mofalada sandwich, but not a mofalada salad. Have you? Mm -mm, never tried it. <laughs> Here we go. Yummies. Now it's a really good salad. There's nothing really special about it besides like the muffalata itself and the sourdough bread. Um, if you want, if you're looking for a salad, you guys, I recommend the Plaza Inn. They have a really good cob salad and the ingredients are fresh. I'm not saying this is not fresh, but over there, it's delicious. I love it. One of the <laughs> best salads I, ha I love here at Disneyland, but California Adventure has the other salad, the walnut salad. Yeah, and I'm not a salad person anyway. I don't really like salad, but I can tell you that the Plaza Inn salad is the best. And that's <laughs> so coming good. from someone who doesn't really like salad. She sure likes salad. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, so right over here, you have your vegan gumbo. Now, this is a vegetable gumbo, and it's vegan, of course. Uh, there's a lot of vegetables in here, guys. There's, uh, <laughs> it looks like tomatoes. It looks like uh, squash. Wow, there's a lot in here. Well, let's try it out. Let's see. It's all about taste. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> okay. Tastes very similar to their original gumbo. It has nice spices, very aromatic, savory. It's delicious and it kind of has a little kick, almost non existent, but it is very delicious. But the best thing of the gumbo uh, bread bowls is you get the bread, guys. That comes from the bakery here at Disneyland. It's delicious sourdough. If you're here at Harbor Galley, I suggest you try one of these. They are very good, especially if you're vegan. You're going to love it. This is a no for me. But this mm. is a yes. You know what? And that is a mega yes. <laughs> they got stuck in the straws like I really oh, hate no. different straws. It, oh, no. It's already tapped out. I can't suck anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it can't come out. <laughs> oh well. Magic journey's way, I guess. There you go. Yum. That's the best way. That's the only way. <laughs> so we walked into the mercantile store and this caught my eye. Wow, beautiful shirt. And people know that I'm into these type of shirts. I love it. And I think I might take it and I might have to upgrade my sweater to this. <laughs> it got too hot for you, huh? It, a little. It's I told starting to get warm. you. I told them, hey, you guys. Hey. I told them. All right, guys, you got your shirt. It looks Finally really got it. nice on you. Got a little bit of an upgrade here. So <laughs> hope you guys I like it. I told you're going to get hot right. with that sweater. It was kind of gloomy today. It I'm was gloomy. getting a little hotter when I said it wasn't that hot. Now it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> you look great. I love right? it. Thank you. Thank you. I love the shirts they have here. They're very stylish, very pretty, uh, and they're very colorful too. So if you want to look great inside the parks, well, I'm going to get one of these shirts here at Disneyland. So right now we're here at the Emporium. And to celebrate Pride, right now Disney has some really nice merch that you guys can come and check out. It's very pretty. Now all the proceeds of the merch will be going to the LGBTQIA plus youth and families. So if you want to come and check it out for yourself, there's a lot of great merch here that you guys can see. Beautiful merch. Check it out. So pretty. <laughs> I love it. 
they also have more new merch here at the aquarium. And look, the Starbucks tumbler is Whoa. definitely a fingerprint magnet. Definitely a fingerprint <laughs> magnet. Look at that. I love it. And it's got a little Mickey on there. Mickey, Disneyland. Look at that. Starbucks mugs. <laughs> kind of looks like a martini shaker. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whipped cream can. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these ears, they're all so new. These remind me of like picnics. I'm gonna call them the picnic table. <laughs> picnic table ears. They look like it. Picnic ears, how about that one? You can wear them out while you're eating your sandwich at the beach or at the park. Disney's getting ready for 4th of July. As you can see, they have the decorations up. And when they do the fireworks celebration here for 4th of July, let me tell you, it's a spectacular. <laughs> We're here in Adventureland. And I'm looking at the Bengal barbecue and I'm thinking, man, it's been a while since we've gotten some of these skewers. But another thing I want to mention is that I don't think Disney's given much love to the Bengal barbecue. It's been a while since anything new has really come out of there. Come on, Disney, give Bengal barbecue some love. I know. It's a classic location. And trust me, if you want a snack, you want something to enjoy and their skewers, top notch, top notch. I have an idea. You know how they brought like the black calf over to Walt Disney World? They yeah. should bring the candied bacon from Magic Kingdom to here. From the Westward Ho? Yes. Yeah, oh. that's a great idea. Bagel barbecue? Yes. Come on, some candied bacon, guys. Oh, love it. Great idea, Janelle. <laughs> yes. No longer do you see the other side of the tree that connects the bridge to Tarzan's treehouse. It is gone. <laughs> In the good hand though, it might be less congested here now. Because every time you would walk by, you'd be like, like sardines now. Yeah. This, hopefully this helps well, out the yep. It is definitely a lot more open here. I just here. wish they told us they want to get rid of Tarzan so we can experience it one last time before tearing it down, you know? All right, next up, the Royal Street Veranda. <laughs> All right, so these are the fritters. We're going to be trying out the Blueberry Fritters. Brand spanking new. All right, so right over here at the Royal Street Veranda, you can get yourself these blueberry fritters with blueberry uh, sugar and uh, lemon curd dipping sauce. That looks really cool. Now we're gonna dip one of these in. Here we go. All right, it's gonna be this one. Here we go. <laughs> there we are. Let's try it out. That's pretty good. <laughs> it tastes like a blueberry muffin that's been deep fried. The outer core is crunchy, and I do love the sugar, of course. It's very sweet, but I do like the lemon curd. That's a little bit of sourness, so together, sweet and sour, balances out really well. It's delicious, and I would definitely get it again. I'm gonna try it for myself. Oh, okay. Let's have some, a little bit of a... Let me know what it tastes like to you. Okay. <laughs> some lemon curd on there. They made up for the strawberry fritters. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> even mention time. those strawberry fritters. Those are disgusting. Oh my gosh. It tastes like a, like a blueberry donut. Or a mm. blueberry muffin. Blueberry muffin, look That's at been that. deep fried. Wow. <laughs> hey! Bye. There she goes. So also at the Royal Street Veranda, they have the Hoppin' John Impossible Wrap. Look at that. Wow. It has like, it has impossible meats, it has cheese, or well, dairy-free cheese. It's just in Cajun sauce, I think I saw, or Cajun dressing. We just take a big old bite, right? Yeah, and go ahead. And it's wrapped in a spinach tortilla, so here we go. Yummies. Mm. <laughs> I think I'll allow a tortilla. I take a touch of another bite. Oh, I have no. to go bite. I hate when I do that. When I take a bite of a burrito and all I get is I just a flour tortilla. Seriously. <laughs> it's like, oh man, then you think you don't have anything? Anyway, so let's take another one. I know it's just a wrap, but it's a really delicious wrap. We have the beans, we have the rice, we have the meatless or the impossible meat, which is really tasty. You could definitely taste the Cajun dressing. Let's just say it doesn't remind me of a wrap. Doesn't it remind you of like a burrito instead? Yeah. <laughs> right? So, so I just tried it too right now and I took a bite and I'm like, dude, this is a burrito. It right? tastes just, yeah, it's got the rice, the beans, and the meat tastes like meat, even though it's not. It's I think that's why. What's the difference between a burrito and a wrap? Can you guys tell us down below? Well, that's definitely a burrito. And is it because a wrap is because, like, it's cold and a burrito is warm? Possibly, yeah, because it is cold. Right? Uh, I don't know. Let us Help know in the comments below. you guys, but it's delicious, <laughs> and it's also something, like, healthy, and if you want to, like, just wait in, like, line, this is, like, a little, kind of like a replacement of a chimichanga, but, yeah, it's yeah, definitely delicious. I did and, like it, too. It's very good. And the dressing is nice and zesty, so yeah, guys, I'm telling you, if you want something to fill you up, I'm pretty sure that'll fill one person up mm -hmm. the whole day. Oh, yeah. John and I are sharing. We're gonna do half and half. 
I'll probably do more than half. And then we're gonna have to take a little break in between until like our next food. Yeah, so <laughs> yummies. This wrap is really good. Like we're already ordering our next food too. <laughs> That's how foodies do it. You're off to the next one. <laughs> it's delicious. She really likes it. Mm-hmm. You think that's the best wrap to have here at the park? I think so. Yeah? Well, I, no, because then you have the ronto wrap. The ronto less wrap. Yeah. That's edge. That one's still my first. Okay, so you say this is the second. second. Mm -hmm. Ooh, all right. So we've checked out some foods here at Disneyland, but there are also some other ones over at Disney's California Adventure. So we're going to head over there right now. Come along with us, guys. <laughs> all righty. California Adventure. Yeah, stop at Starbucks really quick before we enter our other food. Yeah. Because uh, a little cool and refreshed. Yeah. Also, right? I'm getting kind of sleepy, so I need a little pick me up. So. And this is the, the best way. Food. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I like this little emblem on these cups. Mmm. <laughs> Feels like coming over to the Starbucks at Disneyland or to the the Fiddler Pfeiffer Pfeiffer. Fiddler Pfeiffer Piper Practical Cafe. Piper. Fiddler Pfeiffer Practical Cafe. He's looking into the window. <laughs> that name, I'm never gonna get that name right. Ever, <laughs> never. Fiddler Pfeiffer Fiffin and Pfeiffin Practical get Cafe. There. Get I don't there. Know. <laughs> I'm just glad we got one of these finally because it is getting a little warmer now and this is a good way to wake up because I don't I don't really like coffee. I, I just like more like this. It's like a tea, strawberry tasting, and it's it's good. And cheers. Mm. <laughs> okay, so now we're here at Disney's California Adventure. Right behind me is the award winners that have this brand new hot dog. And I'm telling you, they're preparing for summer because it's a barbecue hot dog. And it, it's not a small one. It's a foot long. Woo! Let's go get it. <laughs> Nothing screams summer like a good barbecue. A Diet Coke for me. There you go, Diet Coke. Whoa! Whoa. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's Whoa. insane. <laughs> Wow. All right, so this is the foot long barbecue pulled pork and all beef foot long. It's got barbecue pulled pork, fried onions, slaw, and fries. Would you take a look at this? That thing is massive. I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. There's only one way to do it, and that is the magic <laughs> journey's way. Well, I know that, but how? All right, here we go. Go for it, man. Ah. Oh. Okay, no. <laughs> No? No. <laughs> I don't know how to start. All right, so we moved because we realized we need a table. <laughs> that was a really dumb idea to do it standing up, but sometimes you can't find a table, so you have to do it standing up. <laughs> but this is my complaint first. I wish the bun was longer. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to say so the same tiny. thing. The bun is too small. <laughs> so it's like it's hanging out. But we need uh, like two buns, like one on the left and one on the right. Yeah, so on the inside you got some pulled pork, which is very tasty. It's very sweet, it's savory, it's got great barbecue in it. Almost like a hickory taste. It's got a little kick too, I feel a little bit of spice. Um, but the onions do have a nice little crunch, which is great for texture. And then of course you have your coleslaw. The coleslaw, very tasty too. It's very standard coleslaw, nothing crazy. It's kind of like what you would find uh, at any place here where you're trying to eat coleslaw, it's just regular coleslaw. <laughs> it's really messy. <laughs> So happens but, when you eat at the Magic Journeys way. Yeah. It's messy. <laughs> it is very tasty, guys. I'll tell you that right now. But I'm kind of upset, guys, because they used to have a cheesesteak here. And let me tell you, that cheesesteak was probably one of the best things I've tried here at Disney's California Adventure. And they got rid of it for this, which I like it. It's good but it's not cheesesteak good. Disney, if you're listening, please make that a permanent item here at Award Wieners. That cheesesteak so was, good. it was amazing, guys. Oh and anyone, everyone who tried it and talked to me about it said it was the best thing they've tried here. So please, so Disney, good. bring it back. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is really good, but I feel like I'll get over the barbecue like quickly. I'd be like, yeah, okay, I'm done. But the cheesesteak was like, it kept its flavor. It was gooing cheese. And the meat was like dripping right out the, the meat side. Meat was nice. Ooh, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like the from up squirrel. <laughs> but yeah, I miss the other one. This is good still, but the other one was probably better. It ain't no cheesesteak. <laughs> ain't no cheesesteak. <laughs> I think it's time to enter the superstore. Let's go. I don't think I've been in the store in a while. Not yeah, recently. It's been a long time, right? Yeah. Like a few months. But look at this. They added an Iron Man. Look, guys. What? Do you, guys, do you guys remember the like in inventions when they had like the whole like Avengers campus? Oh, when they had that? all the Iron Man suits. They had all the Iron Man suits and they had like, like a meet and greet, I like, think Thor. Yeah. And Loki 
Do you remember that? I wonder what happened to all those Iron Man suits. I know, that was really cool. I wonder where they're at. Disney. There's one right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of them. Wow. It's probably in the archives somewhere. So you can actually buy this life-size Iron Man Mark III collectible statue. $7,950. Almost $8,000. And you can't even wear it. Come on. <laughs> That's so cool. When I was a kid, Cyclops was like my favorite X-Men. I got it here for 580 bucks. Wow. That is really cool. They got photo ops here. What? Look, look there's a giant, giant pretzel. pretzel. Also here, look, the Avengers sign. I want the picture with the giant pretzel. She wants the picture with the giant pretzel. There you go. <laughs> I'm getting it. All right, this is another place where you can take a picture. Look at that. And I'm wearing a skirt, so I'm not going to do one of those, you know? But I'll do this. Look at these cool pictures you can get. Yeah, those are nice. <laughs> I couldn't do one of those like super heroic poses like in the ground because, you know, I'm wearing a skirt. <laughs> <laughs> But if I wasn't, you know, I'll be like doing all those the things. Spider-Man movie. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, I love this hip bag or chest bag like that. Look I like the, this. It's got the Avengers logo right here. It looks really cool. There you go. Wow. So cool. I'll keep some sandwiches in there. You gotta keep the hero strong. <laughs> <laughs> I would put like maybe my makeup, my hairbrush, sunscreen, you know, some girly things. And this one is $29.99. $29.99. Yeah, this Miss Marvel jacket. Wow. Super nice. That it's looks really cool, actually. So it's too hot for that right now. <laughs> <Enough>. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it. It's pretty cool. I love the colors. Me too. I hope you guys had a great time today at Disneyland. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Now, they did have a lot of foods for you to try here for the summer. Mm -hmm. So now you have something to do. Yes, and hopefully Disney comes out with more because we're still hungry. <laughs> we are. Well, there are some more foods, and we're going to have to check those out on the next episode. Yes. We hope you guys had a great time. And if you guys really love Disney foods, you like watching these type of videos, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to leave a like. <laughs> but we'll see you guys here next time on, on the, the Wonderful, Wonderful World, World of Food. Food. Bye. Bye.